it's the biggest football topic of the year, the New England Patriots were using underinflated footballs during a playoff game that might, and ultimately did, take them to the Super Bowl. Slightly underinflated footballs are scientifically slightly easier to catch. Of course, this is cheating. Of course, this is outlawed by the NFL. Of course, the NFL was not aware that anything of this nature had happened prior to this particular game. Right? According to Yahoo Sports, reports have emerged during the past week that NFL teams, including the Colts, complained during the regular season and perhaps playoffs about the Patriots using underinflated footballs. Fox Sports' Jake Glazer reported that in response to those complaints, the league always planned on checking New England's footballs at halftime. The big question that should be running through the heads of all players and fans is, why wait until halftime? That would mean that the National Football League was aware of a particular possible cheating issue with a particular team. The league was willing to allow it to happen for the first half of the game and attempt to catch them in a sting-type operation at halftime rather than just check the footballs prior to the beginning of the game, or better yet, each game. Since there was adequate suspicion to check at halftime during a playoff game, wouldn't it have been prudent to check well before that? Or perhaps even sternly reminded the teams of the rules, thus causing the Patriots to pay attention to the air pressure if it was unintentional and cut it out if it was intentional? If the NFL was aware of the issue, that means they were willing to allow the possibility that the Patriots were cheating for the entire first half of the game. If true, that could completely discredit the NFL and their willingness to play by the rules.